Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Photoshop Elements video, I'll be showing you how to add strokes inside and outside of letters and also how to keep those nice sharp edges like that on your strokes. If you enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button and of course share with your friends. Always subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. And if you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training and you'll find that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. Before we get into putting this stroke around this lettering here inside of Photoshop Elements, let me just first show you where you can get the typeface that I'm using. I'm just going to hide everything in the background here because I'm using a lot of layers on this as well. There is the typeface. It's a real nice straight solid edge typeface and I really like these cut edges here on the round letters. The round letters are squared off as well. Now the typeface I used here is one, let me just bring us so you can see it right here. There is Bombardier Regular right there and you can get this typeface at defont.com. I have a link for this, this actual link right here in the description so you can go right to this page. When you get to this page, just click on the download button right there. It will download this as a zip file and you'll have to unzip that onto your computer. Once the file is unzipped, then simply open up that location and double click on the file to install that file. Or if you're not on a Windows computer that will do that double click trick, just go to the defont.com homepage right here and right down here, right in there, they have a section which tells you how to install fonts on Windows and also on the Macintosh. It's, all your information is right there on the home page. Okay, so that's what the font is. It's this Bombardier font right there, just nice hard edges. Close that one down. Now to install a font and for it to show up in your font list right here, you'll have to install the font before you open up Photoshop Elements because it reads the fonts into the font list as it's opening up. So make sure that your Elements is closed, install the font, and then open up Elements, and you'll be all set to go. Okay, so my font's already installed, of course. So let's start off here with a brand new file. Let me just get this out of the way. File, new, blank file. I'm just using the default Photoshop Elements size, which is six by four inches at 300 pixels per inch with a white background. Choose OK. There we go. Basic file. Let's make sure that the colors down here are at their basic settings. Now, if you don't have anything selected in here, you can just hit the D key and automatically reset your colors down there. Or just click on that little button and that will also reset your colors to your foreground background. Go over here to the Type tool. Find the correct typeface in your list. Once you've downloaded that, just scroll through and find your typeface and there it is right there bombardier regular set the size at 110 points and the letting at 100 points and centered then just click any old place in here somewhere like that and type in go enter key team now this font has upper and lowercase letters. You want to keep the shift key held down while you're typing this in to get just the uppercase letters. And there we are. Now to get this nicely centered on the page, let's put in some guidelines quickly. I'll just put this up right there. What are some fast guidelines and then make sure this is centered. So view, come down to new guide, horizontal, that's a guide that's going left and right. You want that at the two inch mark right there. So just type in two and choose okay. Here's our horizontal and then view new guide change to vertical and this one is at three and that's the center point because it's six inches wide so three inches is your center point there we are there's our center go to view again come down to snap to and make sure that snap to your guides is checked and it is so we're all fine and then simply drag this down it will just kind of snap right to that center location and there it is you can see there the bounding box is showing that we're right on the center we can now get rid of those guides. We're done with that, so let's clear our guides out. There's our basic lettering. Straightforward enough. Okay, now we need to do our outline, our first, our red outline. So I'll just 
change the foreground color here to red. Click where it's, it's just a black square. Click in the middle someplace here and just drag up a right hand corner and that would be red. It always starts off down here at the bottom in the red zone. So just click in the middle, drag up right hand corner. There's your red. Choose OK. Now one thing I want to show you on this, I'm just going to zoom in just a touch here. There we are. Just real nice and large. You can't just put a layer style on this. Let me show you why. Go to layer layer style right there style settings let's come down to stroke and I'll set this at that same red there we go and the outside and then I'll bring this up and you can see what happens in here is that the corners get rounded off I mean it's not bad it looks fine it's easy to do and it doesn't give you those nice sharp corners that I want to have in there they're nice rounded corners, not real nice sharp corners. So we're not going to be doing it that way. Instead, we'll be selecting our text. Just hold down the control key or command key on a Mac. Click on the icon, the layer thumbnail, and that selects the contents of the layer, which in this case is the lettering. Come down to where it says background and click on a new layer. So you have a new layer underneath your lettering layer up here. On this layer, with our selection, go up to Select, come down to Modify, and Expand. And here, set the pixels at 25. Now, the, the size I'm using here is based upon the size of the lettering that we did. We used 110 points on this. If you use a different lettering size, you want to have a different pixels. Basically, this is just, just about 25%, one quarter of the size. So if your point is 100, you would be doing 25 approximately. I did 110 on this, so it's a little bit smaller than that. That's the basic idea. In any case, we're going to be expanding this by 25 pixels. And it just pushes it out like that. And again, that was the select, modify, and expand, and set that at 25. So it takes your selection that was on the letters and pushes that out by 25 pixels. Let's now grab our paint bucket and click any old place in here, and it fills that that new selection with the paint. Let me just deselect, so select and deselect. And the main reason I wanted to use that technique, you see it right here, we keep our sharp corners. Real nice, clean, sharp corners on that outline. All right, let's do a little bit more. I want to put a white inside here, but I need to have thicker lettering. Now, this lettering style didn't come with a bold setting, so you need to do a fake bold on this. We'll do the exact same trick. Go up here to the Go Team layer, hold the Control key down, click on the layer thumbnail that selects that. Go back up to Select, come down to Modify, Expand, and change this pixel setting to 10. Choose OK. So it's just a little bit larger in there. Let's now reset our colors to black. Now I want this on its own layer, so come down to where it says Layer 1, click on that layer, do a new layer which comes in above layer one, which is our red layer, and then the go team up here. And click any old place inside of that selection, and there's our black outline right there. Okay, we can now deselect. So that's our finished red outline, our thickened black lettering, so it's now kind of a bold lettering on that. And I now want to have a white outline in the middle in here. So back up to go team. Let's change our colors to white. Click on the the reversing arrow right there, so the color is white. Go back up here, hold the control key down, click on the layer thumbnail. That makes that selection. I can just do it white right now, but it'd be a little bit thin, as you can see. I want to have that thicker in there. So we're going to make this selection smaller this time. So select, modify, and contract instead of expand. Do contract and set this one at 10 pixels. Choose OK. And that brings it in by 10 pixels. There we are. Okay, now let's make a new layer, this time above our Go Team layer, and fill that with white. There it is. Okay, select and deselect. So there's your three layers, your inner layer here, the actual lettering in behind. There's a, a black, which we use to make it a bold lettering, and then our outside black. And all of these keep those nice hard edges because we're using a selection and expanding and contracting the selection instead of trying to put outlines on. So that's how you do a stroke to keep your nice hard edges either going in 
or coming out. Let's just finish this up by putting a background in here. Go over to graphics and if you go way down towards the bottom, see I'm right down here towards the bottom of this whole thing. And I'm on the backgrounds right there. And there are these nice just kind of starburst things. And I think the starburst orange is nice. Just click on that to bring that one in. Now if you see a little blue triangle like that upper right hand corner on that starburst, you'll have to make sure that you are currently online or at least you're connected to the internet because this will be downloaded from the Adobe site onto your computer and it will then install. So you may have to download that first if it's not already on your system. But there we go. Let's just set this up to fit screen. There's the Go team with those nice outlines in there, nice strokes added to the lettering and we keep those nice hard edges by using that selection trick with the expand and contract instead of trying to do this with the standard way of adding a stroke by using a layer style. Let's just make this larger here. I'll pull it up like that. We'll zoom in a couple of spots and you can really see it right now. Nice clean hard corners in there. Either expand it out or contract it in. You keep those nice hard corners. There it is. That's how to do a stroke or an outline around lettering and keep those sharp corners at the same time. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.